Hello, my online friends. It is riding time. My favorite time of the day. And everyone in the room's been working hard on finishing up the stories in their blue folder. Everybody's been working hard on finishing up the stories in their blue folder. I'm going to call new peeps to my conference table today so we can look at some more. Some of you are about ready to start new stories too, aren't you? Ooh, so exciting. Okay, friends, but this is serious business. When you think you're done, you need to make sure your writing's easy to read. You need to reread it because you need to make sure it's easy to read. And I have a chart here that's going to remind us what we need to do to make sure our writing's easy to read. So, here's the first page in our chart, friends. Finger spaces. You need finger spaces in your writing. Because if you don't leave spaces, it's kind of hard to read, isn't it? Yes. And you can't figure out the words. And that is right. You can't figure out the words. So, we really need finger spaces. I do see snap words. Now, boys and girls, I want to remind you, it's work time. Look, listen to learn. If you've got those, oh, oh, I want to play with something feelings, what do you need to do? Reset your brain. Take a deep breath. So we can get started. Oh, that was such a smart choice. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Here's another thing that helps us make our writing easier to read. What's this telling us? We need to make fabulous pictures. Lincoln, we talked about that yesterday, didn't we? Why do we need such good pictures? Oh, what, Lincoln? It'll help you remember the story when you go back to write it. So you need to really think about your pictures when you're drawing them and make sure your story you're thinking about is being shown in your pictures. It helps you remember it. Here is another item that helps us make writing easy to read. It me. It, this says to sound out each letter. Do you guys have sounded out power? Yes, you do. We've talked about how you guys have some amazing sounded out power and how you need to really work at those words and catch all those sounds. What are a few things in our notebooks that help us when we're sounding out words? What do we have in our notebook that'll help us when we're trying to sound out words? Do you guys remember? Oh, the vowel chart. Yes, it will help us because we always know there's vowels in every word. And we also have the ABC chart in our folder too, don't we? And that will help you catch your sounds and sound out your words. Eyes on me. Eyes on you. I need some more water. And now, here is something else that helps us make our writing easier to read. It's telling us at the beginning of every sentence, what kind of letter do we need to use? Uh, uppercase. An uppercase. Do you know the special name for those letters that we... Uh, uh, capitals. Capitals. Yes, I couldn't get the words out of my mouth. We start our sentence with a capital letter, an uppercase letter. Oh, let's check out what else makes writing easy to read. Remember. Right. Oh, what do we need to do at the end of every period, sentence? Period. Period. But not only do we have to use a period, what else or could we use? question mark or you, a question mark. You could use a question mark or an exclamation mark. You are so correct. But remember, at the end of every sentence, you need some type of ending mark. So today, friends... For those of you who are think you're done, I want you to really work hard and work on the skills we, uh, the things we said that makes our writing easy to read. So when you come to me at my conference table, you can read it to me and I could read it to you if I wanted to, right? 
But before we go off to our seats, we're going to look at our friends riding. Here is our friends. And first, this friend had this. And we were a little confused. We couldn't read it. So we talked about it and decided, oh, we needed to add a flap and start over. And that friend told me, one day I went with my mom and, and then over here she wrote my sister. But you kind of see that I scratched that out. Do you guys know why we scratched it out just and started over? They didn't have any spaces. And we couldn't read it very well, could we? And we decided, mm hmm instead of just getting that eraser, we scratched it out and we said, we'll put erasers now, or uh, erasers, spaces now. And that person did, didn't they? My friend did. But what does this friend need to go back at the end of their sentence and do? Make an exclamation mark or some kind of exclamation Some type of ending mark. You are right. And, you know, I loved that this friend started their sentence with a capital letter. I was so happy. And you know something else this friend did amazingly? They sounded out sister all on their own, and they grabbed all the sounds they heard and wrote them on the paper. I was so happy when this friend was at my table. Now let's let's look at this page though. Huh. Can you read that? No. Can you read that? Woo! It's like a, it's like a camper at the bunch of windows in it. I think when they come back here, they need to rethink what their story's about. And I don't think they need a flap. I think they can just put a line through it and start at the bottom. And remember, it's so important to use your special power when you're doing writing because you have a writing side and a pointer side. So they might think this paper says, my mom and I went trick or treating. So you know what I would suggest to that friend first? They would say, they would take their magic pencil and touch their paper to see where all those words go. My mom and I went trick or treating. And then they come back and they'd start with the word my. Now do they need to sound out my? Do they have to sound it out? No. It's a snap word. They know it in a snap. So they would write that and they'd look at my and then they'd have to think, I need a space. So they'd leave a space and they'd write mom. And then they'd come back and they'd go, they'd point and go my mom and they'd go, oh, oh, the next word was and. And then they think about that word and and they'd go, oh, it's a snap word. I can spell it in a snap. And they get that done. So guys, remember, it is very important to use this powerful tool that all of you have. It has pointer power and it has writing power. So friends, our goal today is to make sure our, to make sure our writing is easy to read. Easy to read for me, easy to read for you, and easy to read for a friend that's going to read it as well. Thumbs up if you could do that for me today. Okay, my friends, everybody get your blue folders out. Get ready to begin. And friends online, I wish you all well today.